Okay, this video is going to be me reacting slash just my general thoughts while watching Mr. Robot because I've wanted to watch it for a very long time. Like, last summer, I saw the first episode of it on accident on TV and I was like, oh, this, this show looks really good, but because I was on vacation during the time I didn't really have the time to like follow it and watch it and I completely forgot about this show until recently when I saw that it was on Amazon Prime and then I could watch the first season and I've been wanting to watch it ever since I saw the first episode because it looked really good and I see Rami Malek all the time on Tumblr and he is very attractive so I'm like what could go wrong about this show it's about a really smart guy who's trying to take down the government from what I understand so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to binge watch all of this even though I don't think that I can because it's gonna take me I think like 11-ish hours and it's like 10 p.m. right now so if I try I'm gonna try to binge watch it but if I get really tired I'm just gonna stop it and I'll start tomorrow but basically how this thing is gonna go down I'm starting with this intro and then I'm going to watch the first episode after the first episode I'm going to record for one minute how I felt about that episode and I'm going to do that after every episode so you see the progression of my thoughts and so it probably won't get too long. Okay, so without further ado, I'm starting the first episode. Okay, episode one was really good. And because I know that I usually forget things that happen at the beginning of the episodes, episodes versus the end of the episodes, I wrote a bunch of notes down. I'm going to be saying this really fast in order for me to try to get everything down into one minute. Okay, Elliot's hair is on point. Also, when he did the thing with the guy and he just shut the guy down in the coffee shop about the child porn, it was so good because he didn't care about the money. He just cared about being a good person. How am I supposed to fit this into one minute? But oh my God, he just cared about shutting the guy down. And I was like, oh my God, he's so cool. He's such a cool dude and he's smart. AF and I love smart people so he's just like the most attractive person at the very moment he's like Sherlock level and I'm just like oh my god and when he was like fuck society because society is fucked up I was like yes same Angela and him are like the bestest of best friends and that's what I love about them I really hope that they could just stay friends and stay platonic because not every heterosexual couple needs to be romantic okay okay he has social anxiety and a lot of mental issues which like honestly same when he was like crying and taking all the drugs I was like baby my baby boy, I felt so bad. It was so sad. But like, honestly, with the whole, I can't really go into a room full of a lot of people because I don't want to socialize because, you know, it feels like I'm dying, obviously. Same. He hates the basic white guy that Angela is dating. And honestly, same because he's, no, I don't like him at all. When they had the conversation where he was like, I think things are awkward between us. And Ellie was like, I'm okay with things being awkward between us. I was like, honestly, same. And I love that he has this whole no touching role because I hate when people touch me too. But at the end of the episode when he hugged Angela, I was like, oh my God, because that just means so so much. I don't trust Tyrell. Tyrell, I don't trust him at all. When he was having that conversation with Elliot at his desk, I was like, bro, you need to stop talking. And honestly, Linux, I, I used to have a laptop with Linux and Linux is the fucking worst. I hate it. I hate it so much. Cordy, the fish, so, so cute. And he got a dog. He shut that guy down that his shrink was dating. He's such a nice guy. He honestly hacks people in order to protect the people that he cares about. I think that's so, so sweet. He like shut that guy down by getting about him getting all those mistresses and whatever and he got the dog and I was so happy because I was like that guy is not treating his dog properly and it was just so sweet because oh my god he has a dog now dogs are so cute and then he fucked his drug dealer and I was just sort of like no because no but like he looked so good so honestly we could just all move past that I love that they just casually put in that Gideon was gay because I was like yes normalize non-heterosexual characters I'm all about it and now Elliot's going to be part of this evil corporation trying to take down all, like, the debt in society. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, Elliot's doing it. Elliot's doing it. But holy shit, now they're in, like, a boardroom where a bunch of people are yelling and they took Elliot. Now I'm like, oh my god, what's gonna happen to him? I don't like how this boardroom is filled only with men. Like, what's up with that? What What's up with that? Also, when they were having the meeting and Terry was just, like, completely dissing Angela, that was so rude. I was like, no, that's why he gave the file to them because he was like, you don't fuck with my best friend. And I'm just like, that's great. I love that. I love that. Okay, this went what, on way longer than a minute, but I don't know how I'm supposed to fit episodes like this into one minute. I'm going to try to get bullet points, but I don't summarize well. But whatever. Episode two. Okay, this episode. My God. This episode is like... This show is just like really good. It's progressing really well. Rami has beautiful eyes. And he cares so much for Shayla. It's so sweet. He ruined the guy's life just to, you know, protect her. And I was like, that is so nice of him. He cares so much about her. He cares about the people in his life. And that's just like really nice of him. No one says bonsoir. 
like nobody he needs to shut the fuck up and tyrell when he was offering elliot the job was like low-key hitting on him and it was really uncomfortable the dog is really really cute darlene i think her name is, is really really pretty and elliot had like serious daddy issues like when the guy brought up the fact that his dad died he just went off like Elliot has some serious just general family issues. Like when he had the discussion about how his dad died, I was like, damn. Like this show is real. When the when the drug dealer guy was talking about how like he was just like really fucked up when he was younger, I was just like, damn, this show is like hella real. Let's see what happens in the next episode. Episode three. Okay, I have really no idea what's going on. I'm really confused. Okay, let's start with the fact that Tyrell has so many issues. Oh my god. What is he doing? He just, first of all, just beat up that homeless guy for no reason. Or at least a reason that I can't understand. And then he meets this random guy for some reason. And then he has sex with him so he can put something in his phone. And I'm like, that was so unnecessary. And I'm so confused. And he has a really weird relationship with his wife. Who looks actually pregnant. Like, the actress looks actually pregnant. And I'm like, whoa. If that's fake, that looks really real. The CD, I completely missed that. I thought that the hacker guy looked familiar. I did not realize that the CD he was trying to put into his computer was the CD that was hacking him. And I was like, oh my god. But Elliot's not okay after he was pushed off of the railing. I was so done with that guy. I still don't know his name. But the hacker guy for F Society, he was just like, I didn't mean to hurt you. And I'm like, bro, what do you think pushing him off the railing was gonna do? Like, the fuck? And it's so sweet how Shayla cares about Ellie as much as he cares about her, and they were really cute together. Like, I usually don't ship heterosexual couples just because they're, like, a given in every word. I'm, like, very much bored with them, but they were really cute. I shipped them just, like, a little bit. They were really cute. They're really cute. And they're just like, aww. But this show, this show gets me. It's like, it's like, okay, we have to give you a heterosexual couple, but you know what we're gonna do in exchange? We're gonna give you two homosexual ones. And I'm like, yes! Like, Tyrell's sex scene was unnecessary. Not unwanted, unnecessary. Like, I'm not gonna say it It shouldn't be in there. Who am I to say? Like, it just was unnecessary <laughs> to do all that. I was very uncomfortable with the new Elliot after he had that conversation. And he was just like, I'm going to try to live a normal life. It was really weird. It was really weird. I don't see the purpose of having this relationship between Shayla and Elliot, unless Shayla is going to be attacked in the near future and give him a more of a motivation to like work with F Society. Otherwise, I don't see what the point is, because there really is no point. And I also thought it was really sweet how Angela and Elliot, they like, I didn't know that Angela's family was also affected by this whole like toxic waste crisis. And I'm like, oh, they're best friends because of this, which is sad, but also really cute because they're like best friend goals. But yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm very confused by a lot of things in the show, but you know, episode four, let's go. Okay, just finished episode four. This is probably gonna be my last episode for tonight because I'm getting really tired and it's sort of not paying attention because I am tired, but this episode was really confusing. But let's start at the beginning. I really like how Elliot's character is like really powerful. Like, he could basically just be like, yo, here's the plan. Everybody's like, yo, what now? He's just like, I'm just gonna leave because I'm not cool. Okay, bye. And I was like, Yes, Elliot. Then he starts going through withdrawal because, you know, he took down his supplier basically for all of his drugs. So now he's like, his body's like, what the hell's going on? And then he has this whole weird, like, delusion thing mixed with his drug withdrawal. And it's all very confusing and very creepy because there's, like, weird children laughing and talking about his monsters. And I'm just like, I was not prepared for it. It really freaked me out. I'm like, I did not expect for this to just, you know, be all up in my face. Okay. I'm sitting at a desk, you know, just trying to casually watch this show. I didn't expect for all of this to come at me. I really like how the F Society is very diverse. How, like, all the people are just, like, from different backgrounds. It's just, it's a great thing. I really thought how it was also funny how when he was, like, looking for his house, I'm pretty sure that's what it was in his weird dream state that it said Arrow 404, because I was like, that's a computer joke. I get it. I don't know how to feel about Mr. Robot, which I finally learned is the guy's name. Because, like, he seems to sort of care about Elliot, but he also pushed him off a cliff. You know, he could be good, he could be bad, I don't know. Angela and Shayla is now what I ship. That was so nice of Shayla. She's trying to, you know, have Angela get through with all of her problems that she obviously sees that she has. And I'm just like, yes. Then they kissed it. I was like, yes. I also low-key ship Trenton. 
and Darlene because they're really cute and the whole scarf scene was really cute. And then Angela goes into work and then like inserts the CD and I'm like, girl, no. Just like the guy said in the very first episode, like even if you are blackmailed, you have no like insurance that the hackers just aren't going to release your information anyway. So girl, no. No. Okay, so the next day, just watched episode five and wow it's so sad they just put all that work and plan and into the plan they put a bunch of work and effort into the plan and now the plan's not gonna work because the dark army's not working with them and i'm like why but we don't know why it's really awful i really love how like everything's connected how like all of the people are connected to the other people and how all like the storylines seem to like fit together because usually when you watch a show a lot of like the subplots have like nothing to do with the actual plot plot but like in this show everything fits together and I'm like yeah. It's really sad how like lonely Elliot is and how he has like serious deep-seated issues and I'm just like it's so sad like he can't talk to people like at all. He's like so socially awkward and I'm just like I feel really bad and I knew that Fernando knew. He knew that Elliot was the one who put him in there and he took Shayla. Even though he's locked up, I know that he didn't take him himself, but like he sent somebody to take him. And I wrote that at the beginning of this post because I take notes in order to remember what's happening. I wrote that at the beginning that Fernando was going to send somebody in order to mess with Elliot. And look what he did. He did. He did. I knew it. I'm really done with Ollie. Like that guy needs to stop. He's like, oh my God, did you know what you did to me, Angela? And I'm like, and you cheated on her. You're going to lose your job. Oh, well, like Angela deserves so much better than him. I'm so happy that she broke up with him. And her dad is like awesome. He's so supportive and caring and I'm very much here for that. Tyrell knows, Tyrell knows that Elliot was the one who framed the guy and I don't know how he knows, but all I know is that it's not good that he knows because I don't trust him. I don't trust him nor his motives. Like when him and his wife went to go talk to that guy and had that weird dinner, that was really weird. The whole scene was really weird. It made no sense and I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. I think Elliot and Shayla are really cute together though because like when they had the conversation when Elliot was in the car, like they talk normally. Like Elliot can't really talk to people, when it, but when he talks to Shayla, he like, talks normally and it's like really cute how just he can be very himself and very natural with her and I'm like it's a good relationship right there and the ending I don't get why there was that ending with Angela running I think it's supposed to be very metaphorical but I'm not here for that I'm done with symbolism I've had to analyze that so much in school and I'm really not here for any more symbolism just say it just say what you're trying to say but anyways on to episode six okay I just want to start episode like six this thing part just by saying oh my god poor Shayla like, it was pretty obvious that she was gonna die, but it's still really sad because she was a good character even though she wasn't developed enough to, you know, not die. But poor Sheila and poor Elliot, like, oh. But like, what did I say? What did I say a few episode recap things ago? Their relationship, Elliot and Sheila's relationship was only made in order for her to be a hostage later on and add to his like emotional baggage. And look what we have here. What did I say? Because that's the only reason for the relationship. It was unnecessary otherwise. It was because she was going to be then a hostage and then killed for emotional baggage towards Elliot. There we go. I don't like Scott. Scott's just like really mean to Tyrell. Even though Tyrell is already, he kind of deserves it because he's like really mean and like has serious anger issues. But you know, he's still not a nice guy. And I completely believed in Elliot's plan. Like his plan seemed to work and it did work and it sort of, What's gonna happen now? Like, wh he could he could easily destroy Fernando's business, but is he going to? I feel like he should. Like, he killed Shayla. He deserves to, like, have his whole operation broken down. Poor Shayla. I just feel really bad. That's all I can really say right now. Okay, just gonna move on to the next episode, I guess. Okay, the flashback at the beginning of this episode was really, really sad. Shayla is such a good person, and I'm really sad that she's gone. And I'm just like, I didn't think I would care about her this much because I've only really known her for like seven episodes, but still like, you know, she's left an imprint on my heart and I'm like sad because she was such a good person to Elliot and they were like such good people together and I'm sad and Elliot's sad, which makes me sad. And Elliot cannot blame himself for Shayla's death. I guess if you think through it like enough, it could be his fault, you know? He was the one who got her into the drug deal with the guy who eventually killed her and he killed her because Shayla was connected to him, but it's still not his fault. An interesting thing that I also noticed that I'm probably reading too much into is when Elliot wrote on the CD that had all of like Shay Shayla's files and he put it into the CD case with the rest of the CDs. The CD handwriting on Shayla's CD was very much different from all of the other CDs and I was like hmm 
that's probably some sort of symbolism that people can read into. I care too much about the dog. I care so much about the dog. When I saw the dog eat like the computer chip thing, I was freaking out because I was like, if the dog dies, I would have been so mad. But the dog is okay for now. I am so glad because I love that dog. I loved when Tyrell was in the room with all of those asshole white guys in the suits and they were talking shit and he was just like, nope, you're all fired. And I was like, yeah. First good thing, Tyrell is dead. Put those assholes in their place. I'm glad Mr. Robot is self-aware about how crazy he is because he's honestly insane. He brought a gun and almost shot the guy. I don't even know his name. Romain, it starts with an R. He almost shot him and that was really crazy of him and he is very much insane. Terry Colby is one of the worst kinds of people. He is an awful person. Even if he is helping Angela, he is one of the worst people. And then Tyrell going to see Sharon, I think her name was, who's like Scott's wife. He sees her, he invites her up to the roof, starts making out with her, and then he kills her. But then he looks really freaked out when he sees that she's dead. And I'm like, what did you think was going to happen? You choked her. She can't breathe. Yeah, she's gonna die. What did you think was gonna happen, bro? And then at the end, when Elliot was coming clean to his shrink about, like, all of, like, his sadness and what he does, and I felt so bad, because I was like, he's still really sad. And I, like, Sheila was, like, helping him through that, but now she's dead, so now he's, like, extra sad, and I'm like, damn, I feel really bad for him. But I guess there's really nothing we can do, so, you know, on to episode eight. Okay, what the, what, 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 what the fuck, what ha what, okay, what? <laughs> Darlene is his sister, and Mr. Robot is his dad. What? 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 <laughs> what happened? Is that the thing? Is that the thing? Is- is- how? 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 He died. How? How? And how does he just completely forget this? How does he just, like, not know? How does he completely forget his sister? What? 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 Is this the thing that Tyrell was talking about? The thing that he has on him? The fact that Elliot is his son? If- I really hope that this is just one of his delusions because, oh my god, what? 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 <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna try to address other things that happened in this episode, but, like, what? Oh my god. I don't really have anything else to say about this episode besides poor Angela. Her and Elliot used to be such good friends and I really hope that they can be friends again. I really love that White Rose is a woman because yes, that girls need power. A plus, girls run the world. And I really like how Tyrell and his wife are like a ride or die couple. She like stabbed herself because she was like, I'm not letting them take you because she knows. And I'm like, A plus couple. But oh my god, they're related? What? How? What? I don't even know what to say. Hopefully we get answers in the next episode, but let's go on to episode 9, I guess. Okay, I don't I'm- I'm so confused. I thought I was confused before at the beginning of the series, but now I'm like proper confused. But like, what? I'm so confused on what's real and what's not real, because I don't know anymore. Because apparently Elliot's dad is actually- dead and not real and just a delusion of his but he's interacted with so many people are those people not real what were those scenes with him and talking to other people like what happened what? how do we explain this i'm so confused i am so confused darlene said have you forgotten again, again, as in this whole forgetting your whole family thing has happened before. So, okay, that's great. When he was in the room with Mr. Robot and all the other people, who did they think he was talking to? Were those whole scenes just not real? Elliot has finally lost it. Tyrell is fucked. But Gideon and Harry were really cute. They had that really cute scene with the breakfast food in bed. That was cute. That was really the only silver lining of this whole episode because everything else made no sense and everything else was very confusing. What happened to the window then? Did he did he just fall out himself? Like, I don't know what happened. All I hope is that I'll get answers in this last episode of season one. And if I don't, then I will stay confused and then pick up on season two because it's already started. So let's see. Okay, just finished the last episode. See, episode 10, and I don't even, I don't know what to say, because I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what happened, or what's going to happen, or what's really going on. I'm so confused. Oh my god, okay, well, let's start with the fact that Elliot's fucked. 
He is royally fucked. He was fucked in the beginning, and he's fucked at the end. And, oh, I feel so bad for him, because he is honestly being controlled by himself. But, like, it's not really himself. It's like his mind is messing with his mind, and I feel really bad, because he really has no control over himself. And I'm like, poor Elliot. And Tyrell did something, and now he's gone. Where is he? I wanna- where is he? Where did he go? Where could he have gone? He left his wife and his child, which honestly was a given, cause Joanna, I think that's her name, she said that, you know, if he doesn't fix this, then, like, he's not gonna be part of the family, and he obviously can't fix it, so. I wanna say a quick thank you to Krista for not telling Michael or Letty or whatever his name is about Elliot because that was really nice of her. She didn't have to like be loyal to him, but she was and that was real nice. Who was at the door at the end when Elliot gets up to go answer the door? Who was at the door? I I want to know. They can't just like show me that he's opening the door and then not show me who it is and then they have this weird after credit scene where you see White Rose and I didn't realize before in like episode 8 when he meets White Rose that White Rose was actually a guy pretending to be a girl. I didn't notice that until in this episode when I like move my mouse and I'm watching this on Amazon Prime so they show you like all the people who are in like the scene and you see White Rose. I'm like that's a guy and I went back and I'm like oh my god. I am shocked, surprised, but I'm confused why. Why? Why are the- why? White Rose is like a very powerful person apparently because he's working with like all of these powerful people in this like mansion for some reason and he knows who did it because he did it as well. He ruined the economy but like I don't- I don't know. I don't- I don't even know what I don't know. I- I'm just so lost. This show was great though, and I'm going because I'm going to start watching season two right after this. I'm probably not gonna film that though because this video has honestly gone way too long. I'm so sorry. I cannot keep things under a minute. But like, I don't. Oh god, I don't. I don't. I I I uh, I don't know. <laughs>